guys for today's video I'm gonna show you how to achieve this super easy deer makeup look I did this like three years ago and I got so many compliments I figured I'd do a video I already have my full face already done and I'm going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and no I did not hit myself I was just trying to be silly so for my eyes I'm gonna go in with the shade Pooter and I'm just literally gonna pick up a wet and wild like two dollar blending brush and I'm gonna put this in the crease of my eyes literally guys this look I'm about to show y'all here is literally what I do Whenever I'm doing a simple like look where I want like some glitter or like shimmer, I do this look all the time with this palette. So if you have this palette and you want something natural, do this eye look because it's so pretty and it's super, super easy. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Queen and I'm literally just going to put this like in the outer V and drag it towards the middle of my eye on both sides. And this is just a really pretty deep, bronzy, golden brown. It's so pretty. And the next shade I did is went in with Obsessed and I just applied that in the like inner corners of the eye and kind of worked that into um, Queen and kind of like make sure I like mesh them in really well. And it just gives that like nice little like fade from like the light to dark. And then I went back in with my Wet n Wild brush and just blended everything in together on the crease to make sure there's no harsh lines. Moving on to eyeliner. Okay, so I know Deers are supposed to have like a wing liner, but that's at least what I see with all like the makeup beauty gurus have a wing liner with a deer look but honestly if I'm being really honest I don't know how to do a wing and I do my eyeliner really weird as it is already so I'm just gonna do a simple basic black line I'm safe comfortable with that and it still looks great oh and don't mind all the dry shampoo in my hair guys I am so sorry about that moving on I have here my Rimmel London scandalous eyes it's like an eyeshadow stick crayon and all I'm doing here is putting this in the inner corner of my eyes and I'm making like a little kind of like a little point if you can see that kind of just like dragging it down kind of like how a deer has so just like bringing that little point in and then kind of taking that back into the you know my waterline and just making that little effect now that I completed both eyes I'm going in with my MAC Technicolor Technicolor Technicol liner in the shade Raisinette any black or brown eyeliner will do but I personally like this one and the way it looks on my eyes Moving on to contour guys, and this is the only time I would actually say to go crazy and heavy handed with the contour. This is the absolutely only time that that is accepted because you want a really deep, poppin', chiseled cheek if you know what I mean. Now to contour the nose, I'm just here taking like a um, regular kind of like a fluffy eyeshadow brush and taking that middle shade again in the contour palette. And as you notice, I am dragging that contour line up to my eyebrows, and I'm really, really defining the contour line. The last time I did this look, I actually just did a straight eyeliner and connected the lines with like the eyeliner instead of a contour, but now that contouring is in, and I actually like to contour my nose. I know it's silly, don't judge. <laughs> but I was like, you know what, let me just define the contour lines and make them really like apparent, and then that'll replace the like lines of the eyeliner. That I did before and I actually really like, liked the way it turned out and I'm just taking here some white like loose setting powder and just putting it in the middle to kind of you know also define the lines and make sure that they stand out now it's time for the nose and I'm taking this Too Faced bulletproof 24 hour shadow liner and this is also like a really big you know thick crayon um, eyeliner stick and I really like this one actually this is the first time I've ever used it and you're just really gonna want to like define and make the shape of the you know the nose and don't be scared to get all up in there do your thing you know make it look really real and lifelike so do what you gotta do now it's time for the spots the best most important part of the entire look I'm literally going in with that same white crayon from Rimmel London and creating my spot For highlight, I'm taking this Ulta Illuminating Highlighting Powder in the shade Yellow Diamond. And I really wanted to add highlight, but I didn't know how to do it without ruining the spots. So I still added some because I really feel like, you know, I just can't not do highlights. So I just put a little bit. So I went ahead and popped on some falsies off camera. And now I'm going in with lips. And this is the shade Almond Rose by Maybelline. It's such a really pretty pink color. But after I finished doing this look I was like you know what this is probably a little bit too pink so I went ahead and added on top of that Dose of Colors the collaboration they did with Lester Lux and Desi Perkins in the shade No Shade and you guys this is like literally my new favorite combo I love this combination together I don't you just love it when you like mix things together like on a whim and you find like your perfect shade oh 
that completes the finished look. I actually found my deer antlers that I used for my costume a couple years ago, and I love the way it all came out. It looks so great. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I'll just talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.